Hi everybody, this is Amit Kumar and I welcome to Power BI Tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create predictive analytics or forecasting in Power BI. So let's see. What is prediction? Prediction is something to foresee the future, right? Or, or forecasting what we say, like for any scenario, like weather forecasting, uh, you know, hurricane or any other um, storm, those are forecasted by the, uh, you know, meteorological department basically. How they are forecasting? They are forecasting from the analysis, uh, previous analysis and the previous data. So, forecasting might not be 100% correct, but at least 90%, 80% correctness are there. Okay. 10, 20% deviations might be there. So, the same way, we are also going to create a forecasting concept in Power BI where we can predict or foresee the situations or the data to the near future. And that can be possible based on the happenings or experience taken from the previous data. So, when I say forecasting, it is related to time. And for time, in case of any uh, time related data or in case of any uh, future, when I say past, future, and uh, this, this thing in that case, it is always considered as time. Okay. So, time format can be anything like date, month, year, quarter, week, or anything. I may have to have the dates and the respective measures from the previous days. So, and based on this data, based on the time data or any timestamp data, what should be our visualizations? Our visualization should be a line chart. We cannot take a bar chart analysis to cater this type of scenarios. When I say trend analysis, trend means always related to time and trend analysis is recommended to be done. So let's use the line chart here. Okay. Auto and see this data is is quite looking clumsy i just wanted to create uh, this clumsy data let me remove this Okay. Now within the filter, I will just take few years of data. So I want only three years of data will be taken, 14, 13, 12, because this has a good number of data. Okay. Let's say I'll only take one year. 
okay one year of data with all dates you can see uh, all these dates are available over here now uh, so this 2013 from the day one to till date i got this flow which is sometimes it is minimum maximum and these all other values but i want to foresee suppose we are uh, at end of this 2000 and today's date is 31st december i want to foresee the data of future based on this data i want to foresee the data how i can do it this is what we call as a prediction go to analysis here we have a forecasting feature Add forecast. When you add forecast, it's by default taking some line. What is that? Let us understand. Forecast length 10 points. Confidence 20%. Sensitivity. Next, so we are showing this data by days, right? So I want to show another uh, 60 days or 90 days. Uh, the, because we are not creating this data model, uh, Power BI is has pre-created uh, it. It's just like AI through AI, they have created it in build. We can put it 100%, 99%. So, this accuracy is pre calculated. We can put it here. Now, days I want how many days to be shown? 90 days. 90 data points. In 90 days, how many data points you want? Okay. Suppose I would uh, like to show the 90 days interval but only 10 data points have wanted so the interval is become less i mean the uh, you know drawing is become less for 90 days i want 90 data points so it is usually baptized that whenever you are taking the data suppose i want to show three months of data three months of data means it is 90 days of data so if your dimension is uh, days then you should show the data point as 90 days and here i have chosen the forecast length is 90 days suppose you have taken the data in the x-axis as years okay in that case you should not take the forecast length as days from that you should take years and how many years one year two years three years you can mention and how many data point three data points you you can mention when i say uh, when you have a confidence in the data prediction is i'm 100 percent sure that the prediction will be exactly like this but if you just uh you, you know assuming that there might be some deviations then in that case the confidence interval you can define less whenever you, we are also committing to a new one as per our previous experience previous experience we are also following the same mechanism previous data this guy is you know topper in the class so it is confidence that he will be topper or he will be at least in two three uh you know or five uh, uh, top students so this is a confidence of 99 percent if you know this guy is an average guy and he might not get top or and if it is anticipated or something then you can say yeah the confidence level is less confidence interval is less in that case so power bi is also suggest like this average we can say yeah it is uh, 99 uh, 95 percent which was average is average showing the plotting so if the data is in this trend so 
probably in that particular point it will be going in this tent so let's see how this data is measured in which experience this point is showing higher 22nd Feb 14 we had up to uh, you know 2013 right it is in 22nd February 2014 might be the highest data point so from which experience they are showing it If you would have achieved 90% uh, in one year, our confidence level will be less to predict that you will be topper in the next year. If since past five years he is achieving 90 to 95%, then we can say 100% with 100% confidence that yes, this guy will never fall down. It will be in the bubble, right? So the more accuracy the more data you have in the past the more accuracy the report can be generated in the future so i hope you would have liked this tutorial thanks for watching stay connected bye bye